Welcome to the Elements of Music, Part 3. In this lesson, you will learn how to draw a treble clef and a bass clef. Follow the five steps to draw a treble clef. Go down. Put a little hook on the end. Then you add a little loop here, stopping on the fourth line. Then you add a half circle, stopping on the first line. Continue circling around, stopping on the third line. Then you finally cross over that vertical line and stop short or on the second line. The treble clef is also called a G clef because the circle circles around the second line, which is note G. Let's make five treble clefs. Step one, draw your line and put a hook. Put a little hump, stop at the fourth line. Come around, stop at the first line. Go around some more, stop at the third line. Continue, stop at the second line. Draw a hook, fourth line, first line, third line, second line. Always make sure this vertical line is passing the top line and the bottom line. You always cross over the vertical line. Good job. Those look pretty good. Let's move on and make some bass clefs. The bass clef is also called the F clef because the dot of the bass clef rests on the F line. You make a dot on the F line, then you add a little curve that stops at the fifth line. Continue that curve down till it stops at the second line, and then you put the two dots here. They are on top and on bottom of the fourth line. They identify where F is also. Let's make five bass clefs. Dot, curve around, stop, two dots. Big dot, curve around, stop, two dots. Mm, that last I didn't look so good. Better. Five base clefs. Make sure you don't go past the second line.
That's it. Enjoy making your clefts. The more you practice, the better they become. Make sure you practice on a staff so that you can draw them properly. Have a good day. Goodbye.